Hearts Music Festival presents The Smile. They are performing exclusively with the London Contemporary Festival. Opening for them are Jordan Rakai. We've also got a unique hybrid performance from Marianne Hobbs and Anna Phoebe. Absolutely delighted to have The Smile on the bill for 2024, as I told them when we caught up and had this chat. Lauren Laverne. BBC. BBC Radio. Six Music. Six. Six Music. Well, guys, welcome. Absolutely delighted that you're going to be playing at the Six Music Festival this year. You are going to be our Saturday headliners, which is so exciting for us. Thank you very much for saying yes. And it's an exciting time for The Smile as well, because the second album is on its way. Um, how does this moment feel for you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a lot of work to do, especially with the Six Music thing, because we, we, we've decided to work with the LCO Orchestra on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one thing to do all that stuff in the studio it's another thing to do it live um, exactly so scores and and uh you know violins to wrangle and all that kind of business so, th- so that's exciting so these string arrangements uh that appear on the album that's the london contemporary orchestra um tell us about uh working together and, and why you wanted to approach this new album in that way well uh, we've, we've got a habit of working with them haven't we especially you Julie. yeah they've just been feeding our confidence for the last few years in terms of working with strings and yeah. and Hugh, I don't know. Hugh the conductor is like you can you can basically throw him anything at all as I discovered recently. I was doing a soundtrack with him. Pretty much he's not phased by anything. Um that's I think that's why we developed such a great relationship that which relationship with him really. Yeah. Um yeah. That's an interesting idea, like, you know, because because I think from an outside perspective, as someone who, you know, doesn't know classical music quite so intimately, you wouldn't think of that uh, relationship with the conductor as being spontaneous in that way. But it, it is in this case. I think it's very important because um, he, he has to be able to translate uh, whatever nonsense we're speaking into into something that will work with the orchestra itself. I mean, they're all incredibly versatile musicians, so like, it's it's um it just really suits us, I think. It has done for quite a while. Yeah. And obviously the smile is a project that came about in twenty twenty, kind of developed during lockdown. I wonder what the plan was initially and, and how it's developed. It must have really taken on a life of its own, two albums in. Yeah. I think we're just enjoying writing and writing music and playing, which is simple as the motivation behind it and um, Ed was off doing another solo record and we just wanted to carry on making music. Yeah. So when it came to Wall of Eyes, uh, the new album, how did you approach working on that and, and you know, recording and, and writing together? Well, some of the songs we've been playing live. Um, so we've sort of been develop- developing them on the road and some of them kind of happened quite organically in the studio. And often actually the ones that we have been playing ended up being the trickier ones to yeah. get finished. <laughs> Absolutely. I think um, that the week, um, especially with Tom, he's super quick. Mm-hmm. I don't mean me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we can have an idea and, and suddenly it's off the ground within like half an hour. Um, and we, we started getting into this habit of like, take three was like, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Move on. Mm-hmm. You know, rather than spending hours trying to figure it all out. Um, so, uh, it's it's a process. We've done a lot of it at Johnny's studio, which is where we are now. And like Johnny said, we just we just want to carry on working. Um, we we can't see why, why not. Yeah. Um, I think when we did that Glastonbury thing, so that was like the 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 film Glastonbury for when the yes. year when Glastonbury was off. You did when a Glastonbury performance. Off, um, we'd never done a concert or anything, and, and we just went from the studio into that. And mm-hmm. God knows, we didn't. We had no idea where it was going to go after that and then but i think it surprised us really it surprised us the reaction that, that the first record got i mean uh and when we went out on tour we had <laughs> we'd done one record and you you you, you find yourself doing it so you, you've got to come, come up with new material because like after 45 minutes you're like okay well, <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> we've done all our songs, so I <laughs> hope you've had a great time. Um, I mean, well, it's interesting, though, that, you know, you did that, um, the sort of filmed gig at Glastonbury, and that actually, when it comes to articulating this new album, there are there's a, a big tour, you know, dates, headline shows across Europe, um, and a nearly sold out run of UK shows, as well as this six music festival appearance. And then these film events as well, with uh, collaboration with Paul Thomas Anderson that are happening. So all of that is kind of still in the mix, those elements? The film thing's pretty easy, really, because that's I'm showing stuff that we've mostly done before. Mm -hmm. It's just a kind of quick retrospective thing, a, a, an excuse to have a, an event when the record is comes out, sort of thing. And the, the shows, are, I'm, I'm really, really trying not to think about them because what's the point? When you get there, we'll figure it out. Right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Lauren, so Lauren I'm, I'm feeling really inarticulate because I'm so used to your voice coming out of a speaker and being a one-way thing. Oh. I've never spoken to you before and now suddenly here you are actually talking to us. It's like the beginning of some kind of psychosis where the radio is talking to you. No, well, really look, time, you don't, no, it's a good thing. It's a two-way conversation and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and thank you very much for listening. Um, <laughs> that's all, all of that is all, all very psychosis. lovely. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, so in terms of these, uh, these gigs, what is the plan so far? I know it's a like Tom doesn't want to think about it too much at this stage, you're you're just starting to pull it together. Having worked with the orchestra on the new album, you know, what are you envisaging? What are you hoping for? Or what kind of feel do you want to create? We actually just need to figure out how to replicate how we've recorded it. It's that simple mm -hmm. um, because we the, we we have um, between the three and the three of us, six hands and a couple of feet. Because I don't use my feet. Really <laughs> um, well, you use yours actually. So we've got three, six hands, three feet. See, right? it's looking up. Things are looking up already. <laughs> Which is a lot less than it's on the record. Um, and then we also got the, the marvelous Robert Stillman, um, who's going to be playing sax and clarinet and filling in bits and bobs as well. Mm. Um, but other than that, honestly, we'll just figure it out, right? It'll be fine. But it is. It, there's a lot of counting involved, especially my end. I, I'm not used to. How in my hand is doing a different number to my what my vocal is and the drums are doing something and there's, there's a lot of that. It's not prog though, I promise. <laughs> Do you know what? As long as it's you, we're we're into we're into it. We're absolutely thrilled that you're going to be headlining at the Six Music Festival. Thank you so much for talking to us, uh, Tom, Tom, Johnny. Lovely to speak to you. Likewise. Yeah. Okay, Lauren. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.